ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the famed New York Arena here in Midtown Manhattan for our main event of the first round underway in this scheduled 10 rounder. How about a return to center with the left hand? Nothing there on the punch by Vinny Paz. Good one, too, by Boom Boom. Come on, get focused. If I'm the fighter with high stamina fighting a fast, speedy guy like this, and you're my trainer, what are some of the things I absolutely have to remember that you told me? When you get on the inside, you better not make solemn agreements and allow the faster guy to tie you up. You better be working, starting to take some gas out of his tank. Unable to score with the hook. Well, something's got to stick. He sends the combination to the body. Oh, what an uppercut. Nice work blocking that, and then an uppercut of his own. Tremendous pace being set early on here between these two. Can't see this. Wow, impactful short hook got to him that time. That's not going to be easy to survive. Good, strong uppercut. He comes right back with it after taking one. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. That worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Final 10 seconds of round number one. End of the round here. Round that saw a lot of action. The kind of round that fans pay to be here to see. Well, these are TV-friendly fighters. And we figured that coming in. Boom Boom's opponent is not seeing the damaged goods he was opposite of in the last round. This is a different fighter starting this round right here. Straight right was lined up, but he missed. Combination to the head. And he engages in the clinch. Boom Boom's right hand scores well. A headshot blocked. Paz is showing you a little defensive skill there. Able to move away from that punch. Able to cover up that gut. Takes one to give one, he comes back with a right hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Inside, inside. That's a huge left he just scored with. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. That is Boxing 101, a nice, crisp combination by Vinny Paz. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. You're gonna take this one. <laughs> Use your jab to get on the end. Well, he got caught by a lucky punch in that last round. It did do some damage, but now you can tell he's right back where he wants to be, fresh and ready as we start this round. I don't take lightly when a guy gets stopped, but you know what? I think he was more embarrassed than he was hurt. Oh, 
Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. Vinny Paz's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Good work, toe-to-toe -to -toe there. Both fighters got in on him. Keep your distance. You see him don't holding walk. on. Punches don't walk into the punches. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Vinny Paz. Still not well off the mark by Vinny Paz. Boom's got to deal with a cut on his cheek right now. The good news is it's below the eye, but still, it could get nasty as the fight progresses. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. There's the old one-two. That's where you want to be. That's where you want to be. Good work defensively by Boom Boom. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he threw it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. Boom Boom's doing a beautiful job here early on of counter punching. Yeah, it's going to pay off for him later on. You know, we talk about body work paying off for you down the road, like investing, putting money in the bank. Well, counter punching pays off too because your opponent becomes a little tentative, and then down the stretch, he's not busy enough. Okay, listen, you can throw him off with some head. That's it. Throw him off with head. Listen, when he reaches in, let that right hand go, all right? I head on Teddy's scorecard as we start round number four, but I still think that either fighter could take complete control of this fight. He's up around right now. Oh, good exchange there. Come on, kid, focus. Each man able to land an uppercut. Has his thump by a left hand. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Focus. Oh, they both land flush with uppercuts. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Vinny Paz. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Boom Boom's got a real knack for infighting, and right now he's getting an invitation to do as he pleases in these middle rounds. Yeah, he's not hesitating. Yes, and he's not hesitating. He's RSVP and right away and saying, okay, I'll take you up on that invite. Up and down, side to side. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Off the target by Boom Boom. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. Good accurate work there after blocking that blow. And round four comes to an end. As his cut man is going to earn his pay for sure. That is a bad cash. And I'm wondering what he's using in there. You know, you can only use certain things, avatine, adrenaline, and thrombus. I'm wondering if he's using legal things right now because that's the kind of cut that tempts you to use crazy glue. Good job on the two-punch combo by Boom Boom. Boom Boom's really doing a nice job with that hook on the inside there, Teddy. I noticed his opponent squared up a bit. Makes for a bigger flush target. Well, yeah, there's a lot of surface there when you square, and he's finding that surface. Vinny Paz's opponent knows exactly what the game plan can be now. That counter punch landed with some success. Trying to go downstairs, but off target. 
Blocks a shot and then lands an uppercut of his own. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Good exchange. He fires back. He missed by a mile. That wasn't even close by Vinny Paz. He comes with a straight right hand. Good looking counter punch. Super two-punch combo by Boom Boom. <laughs> Vinny Paz is crushed by a right hand. Paz's corner has to give him some advice here because that left hand has been scoring too consistently. Exactly, Joe, and there's nothing else that he really has to worry about. Take that out of the equation, he'd be winning the fight. And round five comes to an end. Boom Boom's corner knows that their fighter still has much more to do. You cannot just sit back and be content on the stool securing a lead. You have to go out and earn a win. A well-placed uppercut by Vinny Taz. You Trying to erode away that body with the combination punching. Boom, boom. That was good stuff. Yeah, that's how you break up pressure. Guys coming at you, you know, trains coming at you. You don't go back on the track. It's not gonna hit you. You go off the track on the side. Exactly what he did. And that train went right past him. Halfway through round six. Little head hunting with the left. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Boom, boom, he's giving his opponent fits right here. His head movement is making for such an elusive target. Yes, it is. Now the opponent has to make an adjustment. He has to realize that he's finding air more than he's finding any surface up top. So go downstairs to the place that's not moving, down to the body. That is start to take away some of that head movement. That's a well-scored left hand by Boom Boom. Two snapping jabs by Vinny Paz. Paz is swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Big shot. Oh, this is going to be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. That if there were 30 more seconds in that round, I don't know that he survives. But now he gets the benefit of the 60 second break. Yeah, he gets the benefit, and he's got to show his experience now to kind of have a short memory. I know that sounds crazy, but forget about what happened and find a way to have confidence. Find something to hold on to going out for the next round. That straight right, unable to connect. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Absolutely rocked up. Boy, I don't like the way his legs solid. And he goes down again. Will he get up from this? The ref stops 
the fight. Has is unable to get up and continue on. By way of knockouts, your winner, Hugo Mancini. Boom Boom's fitting end to a very strong night for him.